Hey, what's up, everyone? Jenny Man here, and welcome back to my FIFA 18 career mode with Coventry City. Today is, of course, season five, episode number four. Today we take on Arsenal first and foremost, and then Stoke City. Two very difficult games uh, on the back of the last episode where we drew 0-0 uh, Liverpool. Um, honestly, the fixture gods haven't been very kind to us. They gave us Liverpool, Man City, Man United, and Arsenal all in a row. And obviously, we lost 2-0 against Man City. We did progress in the Carabao Cup 2-1 against Sheffield United. Uh, then we lost 1-0 narrowly to Manchester United. And that takes us all the way up to today's game up against Arsenal and Stoke City. So, uh, going into the game, we actually slipped up a little bit in the league. I'll show you the league table real quick. As you can see, we uh, were ninth at the end of the last episode, but now we slipped all the way down to... 15th with this difficult run of fixtures. So now we take on Arsenal, who currently fifth, and then Stoke, who are currently second. So things don't really get any easier for us. So if we can somehow manage to pick up a few points in this episode, it'll set us up nicely going in to the almost midway point of the league. All right, so going into today's game, this is how we're going to line up. Connor Connolly has returned to the side ahead of Levesque. Levesque's had some pretty poor performances over the last couple of weeks, so we decided to bring Connor Connolly back in. He's been moaning about not getting a first-team opportunity, so now is your moment to shine, Connor. But anyway, this is how we line up. We saw in goal, Marasic at left-back, Freddie Frey at right-back with Reed and Willis through the middle of the fence with Mega Stevenson in midfield, Connolly in the hole behind Diata, and then Wilson and Krauss taking up wing positions, looking to create plenty of goals for us. All right, so here we go at the Emirates Stadium, our first visit to the Emirates uh, since starting this career. So it's pretty cool we're playing here at the Emirates Stadium. I'd be interested to see what kind of lineup Arsenal have now five seasons into this career mode. So it looks like Alexi Sanchez and Danny Welbeck are at least still with the team. Again, I'm not quite sure how Arsenal looked up. I'm not very good at checking other teams and kind of who's playing for them. So we'll take a look in just a few moments and see who Arsenal currently have in their side. All right, so here's Arsenal lineup. Martinez is in goal. He's still with the club. More a right back with Masacho, Belik, and Bola, and Bramal at the back, playing five at the back. Wing backs to Corey and Vidal. It's a very formidable midfielder with Bellarabi, Welbeck, and Sanchez leading the line. So they've got a pretty strong side there for Roberto Firmino on the bench alongside Aaron Ramsey. I saw that. And um, so they're a pretty strong side. Obviously, a number of key players today. Alexis Sanchez is still with the club. And uh, he's obviously going to be their key man today, I would imagine. Here's Tom Krause, though, looking to try and carve him open early, though. There's Wilson now. He's got Diada to aim it in the box, and he's uh, managed to head off more for a corner kick. Early corner here. Chance of the Sky Blues to perhaps take an early lead. Here, Stevenson's going to whip the ball in. Can't get ahead to it, and it's cleared all the way to Alexi Sanchez. Here's Diata now at the edge of the area. Takes a shot on. Weak effort in the end, though. Martinez with a comfortable play. Oh, what a ball that is from Welbeck. And Bellarabi is now through on goal. And he scores. 1-0 Arsenal here. Late sliding chance from Marisic there. Couldn't put him off. And he uh, slides it past Reese Hall in goal. So 1-0 early on here for Arsenal. 17 minutes on the clock. Marisic kind of caught a uh, ball watch in there. Tries to make a late challenge. And uh, it was a weak effort in the end. But just enough to put Reese Hall off and give Arsenal a 1-0 lead. Oh, it's a wonderful ball. And Bellarabi's there again. I don't know how he's missed that one. Great opportunity for uh, Bellarabi to make it 2 0 as 23 picks up a, a yellow card. So far, I found it extremely difficult to break down Arsenal. They've got playing five at the back, plus Vidal and Decore sits really deep in front of them. So it's making it very, very hard to find any kind of space in front of their defense. And uh, it's going to be a very, very long afternoon trying to break this Arsenal team now. Here's Ben Stevenson now with the efforts and forces Martinez into a good, solid save to his left hand side. Good effort there from uh, Ben Stevenson as well. He's got his fair share of uh, screamers in his time. But that was uh, definitely wasn't troubling anyone. And 33 actually rose up highest there over DeCorey and uh, powers it over the bar. Good effort there from uh, the right back coming up from the set piece. Good powerful header, just couldn't keep it on target. Here's Bellarabi now picking the ball up on the left there. He's found Sanchez and Sanchez makes it 2-0 to Arsenal. Oh, it would be an absolute car off the pie here by the uh, the Arsenal uh, striking team. Honestly, it's it's very, very tough to keep up with these players. They're very, very highly skilled. And uh, we're definitely, definitely, definitely beaten there. But here's Tom Krause now, maybe trying to carve out an opportunity. Easily blocked in the end. But uh, yeah, as I was saying, we're just, we're just outclassed, to be honest with you, right now. 
Oh, good effort there from Connor Connolly. Came out of nowhere, to be honest with you. Got half a yard for a shot. I thought he might as well take it from there. And it forces Martinez into a good save. I think that was creeping in that uh, near post as well. So Martinez had to react well. And uh, I tell you, out of all the chances we have, set pieces might be the best one. Ball's whipped in. Not a great ball, though. Easily cleared from Arsenal. And it's a halftime break here, and it's 2-0 uh, to Arsenal, and they're looking pretty comfortable. Again, haven't really created too many opportunities, only a few shots really outside of the box. So, time for a change of formation, just do something different here in the second half, because what we were doing certainly was not working. So, um, I'm thinking of maybe switching to a bit more of an attacking kind of 4-4-2 formation, perhaps like a 4-2-4 maybe, just to, just to try and force the issue up top there. So, um, Kraus stays right midfield. I'm actually going to switch him around. I'm going to bring on Jody Jones to play right wing. And Connolly, I'm going to bring on Calvert-Lewin for uh, for uh, for him. So, uh, second half of line up like that. 4-2-4 formation. If we get an early goal here, we might have half a chance of getting something out of this game. But uh, so far, really, it's been Arsenal. And... Uh, Honestly, we, we definitely don't look like we're getting back in this game unless we uh, somehow magically learn how to carve them open. That's a wonderful ball there. Wilbeck has now found himself goal side against Reed here. He gets to the byline, pulls it back. There's a late run of Moore and he makes it 3-0 to Arsenal. Both centre halves pulled out of position there, trying to catch up with Danny Wilbeck and it left a huge hole in the box and he found uh, Moore who timed his run to perfection and uh, the right wing back gets his first goal of the season and uh, third of the game for Arsenal is Jones now looking for the far post looking for Kraus but uh, easily cleared in the end there from the Arsenal defender so 60 minutes on the clock here still looking for still looking for a goal there's Willis Willis with the half volley effort there and uh, loops harmlessly over the goalkeeper's head and over the bar for a goal kick now one two there from uh, Wilbeck and Sanchez and Sanchez is now in the box Twisting and turning, he's found, well, I don't know who that was, DeCorey, I think, that missed it, and that was a good save from Riesel from point, point blank range. But uh, really should have been 4-0 to Arsenal now. There's Tom Kraus, got himself on the ball here, taking on the Arsenal defence. Tom Kraus with the efforts. Oh, that was surprisingly closer than it looked, I think. Tom Kraus puts his, uh, put his hands into his head and... It's always nice if you're supposed to be an Arsenal fan, isn't it? You take off Danny Wilbeck and bring on Lacassette instead. Yeah, that's, um, yeah, I wish I had that dilemma. Oh, the fucking card that's open there. Oh, and great challenge there from Freddie Frey getting back and making a crucial stop. But uh, that was very, that was embarrassing defending there. Far, far too easy for Arsenal. Now here's Tom Krause on the break. Let's see if we've got any legs left. Moore can catch him up here. This is, uh, Tom Krause is very well. He's going to pick out Jody Jones at the far post. It's a weak ball in the end. Then it goes behind for a corner kick, which we haven't been very successful at today. Let's see what Stevenson can do here. He whips the ball in. Not a good one again. Kind of a weak effort there. Barely beat the uh, man at the near post. And it's a full-time muscle here at the Emirates, and it's finished 3-0 to Arsenal. Honestly, since the, since the get-go, and Bellarabi got that opening goal. It's been an uphill battle today, and uh, the difference in class really kind of showed on the field. It kind of shows you how far we have to go if we want to try and compete in the Premier League. Arsenal completely, completely outclassing us from start to finish. All right, another bid came in here for uh, Gonzalez. Obviously, the last one broke down. He couldn't agree terms of Royal Antwerp. So this one comes in from uh, Breccia in Italy. Uh, hopefully you'll sign a deal for them. He's not going to get a game with us, and I'd like to save on um, wages if we possibly can. All right, so we do have some exciting news, though. We did find some uh, exciting young prospects coming in for the Youth Academy uh, from our scouts. First up, Landon Mercy, a right back, a Belgian right back. Potentially be 94 overall, 15, 15 overall, right? Sorry, 15 years old, and um, uh, he's okay. We'll see how he develops, though. Is any crime rate is only, what is he, a 40 overall. Yeah, he's got a long way to go. And then we have Rob Play, uh, Plateau. Plateau, yeah, Plateau, yeah, whatever his name is. Uh, Holden midfielder, 16 years old, already a 48, potentially be a 92. And then we brought in Matisse van der Broek, who's a 51 overall centre midfielder. This guy's got a little bit of potential about him. Um, potential 69 to 94. Uh, looks like he has some okay ability already. 
Uh, then we obviously see Peter Moore, goalkeeper. We know him. Sean King also came in, 58 overall. He's um, 17 years old, potential 76 to a 94. So keeping on his progress, he could be useful as a left winger here at some point. Um, and I think that was it for all the new additions to the UFC team. But um, on the plus side, my scouts are finding some great young potential players and I'm um, hoping we can develop and maybe get them to the first team by the end of the season, if not early next. All right, so here we go up against Stoke City this time at home. Connor Connolly is that going to be dropped for today's game? I'm not going to play him up in the hole. Levesque is going to come back in there. I'm also going to start Jody Jones today instead of Callum Wilson on the right of midfield. Kraus is going to switch over to the left. He's played multiple times for me. So this is how we're going to line up for today's game. Uh, Reese Hall is going to be in goal. Mausich, Reed, well, it's Frey at the back. No surprise there. With Mega Stevenson in the midfield. With Levesque, Kraus, Jones, and of course, Crepin the Arts leading the line. As we try and bounce back from three defeats in a row and haven't won a game now in four. So we have to try and um, be a bit more aggressive in this game. I want to try and win today. Obviously, Stoke, while they are going strong in the table, this is a team that I did pencil in as three points for us. All right, so here we go up against Stoke City at home at the Rico Arena. Um, honestly, I'm actually quite not sure what uh, team Stoke had. I actually skipped that. I didn't, should have done that, really. Uh, we'll take a look at the bottom of the screen and see if we have any notable, notable names in there. It's really elevating their team's performance. All right, so Stoke. They've got, still got Jack Butland in goal. They've got Sane. Uh, who else? Honestly, not a lot of players to recognize. Um, Nathan Redmond, uh, former Southampton wingers in there, I can see. But um, no one that looks particularly scary that I'm familiar with. Now here's Tom Krause now galloping down the left. He's going to cut in. He's going to cross the floor of the far post. Jones wasn't going to get there, and it's easily cleared by the Stoke City defender. Here's Nathan Redmond, perhaps leading the charge here for Stoke City on the break. Here's Felin playing on top for them. Going to pass the ball around nicely here. Sharp, crisp play here from Stoke. And uh, got a solid dummy there. And uh, Mega's going to get the block and make the uh, final clearance. But uh, it looks like Stoke are dangerous going forward here. And that could spell danger as, as we know from the save. I'm not the best defensively. Chance now for Stoke. And it fell on the box. And I think that was fell in there. He got a foot in. As uh, Liam Reed was appealing for offside, quite clearly it wasn't given, and a uh, glorious chance for Stoke here to take an early lead. Obviously, the key to uh, most games for us this season is going to be getting that first goal. We have to score, and score, and score early if we can. There's Diata now with the effort. Struck the centre half, and it's going to be kept in and eventually cleared. But uh, we've got to be aggressive going forward. we got to try and get an early goal if we can. If we do, it changes our outlook of the game. We can definitely play a bit more within ourselves. Oh, Nathan Redmond's made it 1-0. Of course, me talking about keeping it tight and maybe get an early goal. And then we do something stupid like gift Nathan Redmond a very, very simple tap in there. Good finish from the uh, former Southampton winger. But nevertheless, uh, our defence broken down far, far too easy. Van Sinkraven in the box and he lays it across for Fallon again, looking for a second assist. And uh, lucky enough, Reese Hall was on his toes there to uh, grab the loose ball. But so far, it's been all Stoke in this game. I can understand why they're uh, at the top of the table right now. They're playing some fantastic stuff going forward, and we're having a really tough time down the wings trying to hold on to them. And here's Ben Stevenson now. It's broken kindly for him. Ben Stevenson with the effort straight to Jack Butland, and it forces the uh, England goalkeeper into an acrobatic save. But uh, still uh, better from uh, the Sky Blues here just before the end of the first half. Let's see if we can do something from the corner kick. Steven's going to whip it in. Reed is there with a the header. Oh, and it's off the line. It's going to fall to Levesque. And it's cleared by the uh, Stoke City defence there. But um, good effort there from uh, Liam Reed. Here's Frey now. He's going to cross the board. And Levesque's at the near post. Oh, and he smashed it straight at Jack Butland. A couple of glorious opportunities here at the end of the first half to get back on level terms. And here's a chance for Stoke. Felon's broken the offside trap. Fine Redmond. He's got a shot off, and it goes harmlessly wide, though, for a goal kick. And it's the end of the first half, actually, and uh, we're very lucky there not to go into the uh, halftime break here. Level uh, with Stoke after a few opportunities at the end. Um, but it does, does give us a positive sign, obviously, going into the uh, second half here 
obviously. I'm just going to make a change. Levesque, who's been kind of poor today. Gould is going to come on in his spot. Um, but just give us a little bit of confidence going into the second half here that we can, in fact, create an opportunity or two to get back in this. And we're not completely done in this game. Oh, there's a chance now. Diata's now through and goal. One more in the keeper. Crepin Diata cuts to his right foot and finds the bottom corner of the net. Crepin Diata gets in there, my son. 1 1. And we're back on level terms. Just a few minutes here into the second half. Wonderful football there from Jody Jones. Cutting in from the right flank. Finding the runner, Crepin Diata. Weighted the ball perfectly. And uh, we're back here. Level on terms with Stoke City. Wonderful football there. Very calm finish as well from Crep in the Art. A beautiful finish in the end from the young man. And uh, we're back on level terms. 1-1. One, one. Oh, Stevenson. Wonderful dummy there. He's cutting to his left foot here. Not a stronger foot, but he got a decent effort out anyway. That was his only chance to get a shot off there. Cutting back to his left and uh, forces Butlin into a smart save. Comfortable, but smart nevertheless. There's a chance for Stoke now. The broken is down again. He's got in the box. He lays it across and Felon hits a shot wide of the near post. But uh, Felon's been a pain in the ass, and I'm very, very happy to see the back of him. But on the plus and on the negative side, though, they have put on Mandzukic in his place. So, um, yeah, I don't know who's worse, Felon or Mandzukic. We'll find out, I suppose. So here's Kraus now. He's done very well to get a bit of space. Cross it into the art at the near post, and it's easily cleared in the end. So it's a throw in here deep inside of the Stoke half. Gonna try and keep the ball if we can, but never mind. Kraus was still coming back from an off the side position. Oh, here's Gold now. He's got a bit of space to run into. He's got Diata square. He's found him. Diata's through on goal. Oh, why did you hit it straight at the goalkeeper? You threw. That was a glorious opportunity to take the lead there. And he hit it straight at Jack Butler. And again, beautiful play there. Linking up the attacking central midfielder there. And a wonderful one from Diata. Just couldn't find the uh, target this time around. Or oh, the uh, goal, I should say. There's Diata now with the cross. Looking for Stevenson. Can't find him. And it's easily cleared. And maybe set up a counter-attack opportunity here for Stoke, but may get as well. Sniffing out the uh, potential danger there. And there's Jones. He's found Gould now. He's through on goal. He's got the Arta square. He's going to chip the ball in. And I think it's flicked up off the defender. And it's cleared in the end from uh, Stoke City. There's the Arta now. He's got Gould. Gould with the effort. Oh, good save there from Jack Butland. Sure, that's a pass back, ref. Well, nevertheless, good opportunity there for goals. Did well, did everything right. I mean, striking across the keeper there, that's really all he could do, to be honest with you. That's a crunching ch challenge on uh, Tom Krauss, by the way. But uh, yeah, Gold really did all he could do there, forcing Jack Button into a, a save. But still, promising signs that we might still get a winner here. We've only got a few minutes left added on the game here, and Gold has got a bit of a run here. He's easily tackled in the air from Maguire. But he wins it back. Very well played to him. Stuck with it there. And he gives the ball away. As soon as I say that. So, yeah. How about that? All right. So, a few minutes now. Added on time here. And uh, it looks like it's going to finish here 1-0. Unless we get some last-minute heroics. And here's Tom Krause now. He's got himself all oh, gold in the box, I should say. Oh, and Diata flung himself at the ball. And uh, that's, yeah. That's then there. Full-time whistle has gone 1-1. So, a pretty even game back and forth here. Exciting stuff. Pat Butler made some fantastic saves to keep Stoke in it. But generally speaking, a much better performance compared to the Arsenal game. And uh, we're almost kind of unlucky to not to win this one. But uh, you know what? We'll take a draw off the back of three defeats in a row. All right. So with that draw, <clears throat> we now uh, find ourselves in 16th place in the table. Uh, with uh, three wins, three draws, six defeats. Only scoring eight goals, so definitely goal scoring is a bit of an issue for us, as I expected it would be at the beginning of the season. We exceeded 17, which is around about the average for us, uh, for teams around us right now. A negative nine goal difference, obviously, that's going to be a bit of an issue this season. So um, 12 points on the board, three points clear, currently of Brighton. Obviously, our goal is to avoid relegation. That is our ultimate goal. Um as of right now, uh, we're, we're doing it. So, you know, just got to keep going at this kind of pace. And uh, let's talk about the next episode real quick. Um, at the moment, I am still in England right now when this episode is going to air. So um, I'm not sure when the next episode will be. It will be out as soon as I possibly can, as always. But uh, for the next episode, what we're going to do here, we're actually going to do West Ham United and or Watford right in the middle of the uh, December period there. And then after that, we'll open up the uh, January transfer window to try and reinforce 
some of our players. But so far, so good in this save. Oh, well, in the save, I should say, yeah, in so far in the season. Not doing it too badly. Um, still sticking with it. We're not completely outclassed, only by the teams that we're expected to be. So uh, apart from that, we can be pleased uh, with at least the facts and the notion that we are competing so um anyway that's gonna wrap up the episode hope you guys enjoyed it if you did remember to leave a like on the video and if you want to see more from me in the future uh just go and hit subscribe to notifications on uh thanks so much for watching everyone hope you guys enjoyed it i'll see you guys in the next part goodbye everyone. goodbye